That was weird. I don't know. Welcome to Illotalk, Talk, day 42 of 100 days of animation, where I spend a minimum of 30 minutes, no matter what's going on, unless I get super sick. Uh, just kidding. I, I even did it then. But um, working on my short film. And um, today I am finishing up the character stuff. Hey, we're yeah. building a computer. Ooder, ooder. What is the computer for? Um, for me to play games on if I want to. Just you? <laughs> and other people. Uh -huh. Okay, Scarlet, come here. Hey, Scarlet, come here. Brent, hey, Brent is going to show you how to put this in. Okay? Okay. Now do exactly what he says. Like. There we go. Okay, now push it in. Push, you got to push it in real time. Stop and open the tripod. Real tough. How was that? You just put the RAM in the computer. Good. Do you know what that means? No. RAM is random access memory. Do you know what that does? It takes memory. It does. It takes memory. Okay, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, yeah, so I started, I got, it got weird. It's been weird with politics and stuff. And so I kind of backed off. I read Neil Gaiman's um, Norse gods, uh, where he's talking about Norse mythology, and I've read a lot about Greek mythology, and the Norse mythology stuff was awesome. I really enjoyed that. It was good. And then, um, still in the middle of this Rise and Fall of the Third Reich book, and so I started listening to that as I was cleaning out my fish tank today. Oh, man, it's just so weird. I mean, you have business leaders and the military and a bunch of different people like lining up behind Hitler as as he's rising to power because not because they agree with him but because they think they can get something from him and they see that he's becoming popular and so they start funding him and it just seems like Napoleon all over again there's just continues to be these patterns people backing people because they're scared of losing power rather than scared you know, then like doing what they believe is right. Um, it just seems like the first thing that people do once they get power is seek to keep it rather than seek to use it to do good. That's driving me crazy. Just watching randomness in all these different countries and here in the States. Anyway, it's weird. And then it's like this weird, surreal thing where I'm making a uh, making a whole you know animated short about kind of this rise and I'm in the middle of creating basically death squads basically an SA or an SS hit squad and I'm just I don't know it's overwhelming I'm trying not to be overwhelmed but it's weird and overwhelming so so there's that in other news I haven't installed emulators yet, but my theater and projector is sick, and I love it, and it is amazing, and I'm having a great time. And like I, I announced on like Facebook and Twitter, I was like, "Hey guys, I just got Steam. What should I get? Um, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm new here." Uh, and a bunch of people were like, "Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Here's a bunch of old games I never play," and gave me a ton of games. Uh, it was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. I bought a few as well. Um, bought some indie games. Uh, bought some games that I've been playing on mobile. There's like a console version or whatever. But I got to give a shout out to a couple that I've been playing with my family because my seven-year-old Scarlet and my wife who does not like video games um, and like random people who just like drop by the house and fill in for the fourth player. Castle Crashers? freaking sick game that is so much fun and then one of my favorites though i can't play for an extended period of time because it's so dang frustrating but it is fun uh brawlhalla brawlhalla it's like valhalla but with brawling and it's basically a bunch of mythological gods a bunch of gods from different religions and mythologies and countries around the world um in like super smash brothers style and so like 
listening to North mythology and Greek mythology and Roman mythology and Egyptian mythology and then uh, jumping in and playing as these characters is, is just super awesome. It's fun. And I actually think from a gameplay standpoint, it is significantly better than uh, Super Smash Brothers. Um, probably because I don't play Smash Brothers a lot, and so when I do play Smash Brothers, I get my A handed to me on a plate uh, by anybody who's played, because there seems to be... Uh, I'm just Kirby, right? I jump in as Kirby, and I'm like, whoop, 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 boom! That's like the one thing I do. Sometimes I eat people. That's about it, right? And then there's people that like know all the secret moves and do all the things, and there's like, you know, whatever... Uh, stuff happening and this game I feel like there isn't any one particular player who like excels or you could get super good at and just destroy everybody and so it's pretty evenly matched even though there are like different types of players and different weapons and different reaches of weapons and shooting and melee and whatever um, I just feel like it's a super fun game I like it a lot um, anyway I think I might start including my Steam handle in my video description. Um, I'm not sure if that's a terrible idea or not. I don't know. Some gamers can be huge tools and be real jerks. But then at the same time, like, most of them are great. And so I just don't want, like, the underbelly of the community to go after me. I don't know why they would. I'm not any good, and I'm not terribly controversial or anything, but it, it feels like I'm asking to get doxxed, or I don't know. It's just it's just weird. Anyway, but uh, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna include uh, I'm gonna include my my Steam handle in the description, and if you want to uh, jump on there uh, and and friend me, connect with me. I don't even know. I'm I'm not sure what you do on Steam. Uh, but if you want to connect with me on that, uh, do that. That'd be cool. And uh, that'd be fun. And so, yeah. So that's that. So I'm having a good time. Uh, my main thing is I'm trying not to let it take over my free time. So I'm putting, like, time limits, you know. Uh, but honestly, I pushed myself too hard. I got sick. I was totally wasted and fried. And making these videos plus doing all this stuff for hours and hours and hours on top of everything else that's been going on um, it was too much and it's not healthy and so even though I do I was talking I was talking to a friend of mine on Twitter uh, about this and he's like yeah you gotta you gotta take time for yourself and I was like but yeah the thing is, is these these side projects that I do are taking time for myself. This is what I do to take time for myself. And he runs like a bunch of different web comics and he's like super active and he does a ton of stuff too. And and he's like, yeah, it's hard because you know, you've got to just slowly progress it. And I'm like, yeah, I want to slowly progress it. But here I am day 42 of a hundred of trying to get this thing done. And I wonder if I'm just pushing too hard. And so my new thing is I'm going to exercise um, I'm installing a pull-up bar in my studio. I'm going to do pull-ups and push-ups uh, every 30 minutes that I sit in a chair. I'm going to get up and do like five minutes of work, and I'm going to I'm going to play video games a little bit every once in a while, read a little bit every once in a while, just to like make sure that my brain does not fry and I die of stress and horribleness. So that's that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't have a ton to say about that. I do want to, yeah, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. So I'm going to get into talking about subjects in a little bit. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, enjoy, uh, you know, this. Leave me a comment to let me know that you are there. And uh, I'm curious um, what you guys do for burnout. Um, not to burnout, but what do you do to avoid burnout? Um, what are your like anti burnout things when you feel like the world's crashing down on you and you've got nothing but stress and you are at the edge? What is your like go to, uh, you know, 
like mental health, like relief, your fortress of solitude. What's your deal? Like, what do you do? Mine seems to change constantly. And you know what? I need to draw more. That is one thing that I miss doing animation. I am not drawing as much. Now, if I was doing traditional animation, I'd be drawing way more than I normally do. But I haven't put pencil to paper in a long time. Um, it's been it's been days, and I'm feeling that because I need to draw for fun as well as for production. And so I think I need to incorporate that a little bit and sleep at some point in time. Anyway, I don't know. But yes, that's a bunch of things that I need to do, which sounds like I'm just adding to the current level of stress. But in any case, uh, once I get this guy rigged and animated, um, I'm going to knock out a number of characters all in a row. Um, and I think I'm going to do like full illustrations on like illustration paper and, uh, and income and everything so that uh, so I can get some of that. I can scratch kind of that drawing edge. Also, it'll make it faster um, to it'll make it faster to kind of rig those guys up and get them designed if I can ink them for real uh, before that. So and my studio's trashed like everything's a mess. I've literally got garbage. I've got a garbage can. It is it is just piled. I haven't taken out the garbage. And there's nothing gross in there. It's like papers and and whatever else. But like I'm at this point in time throwing crumpled up pieces of paper at the pile that is covering the garbage can. And I just need to take the garbage out. I don't like eating here or anything, and so I don't there's nothing that's like rotting, but it's my studio is a mess, and yeah, but life is good. Life is good, guys. It is good times. Good times. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. So you can check out my stuff at CoreyKerr.com, which I haven't updated uh, in a while because I've been doing this, and so I keep feeling like I'm throwing people that way. But did you know that I sell t-shirts and stickers and prints and all kinds of fun stuff at CoreyKerr.com? And you can just click on store there and uh, there's fun things there. And uh, that's good stuff. And uh, yeah, so a lot of the t-shirts that, or a lot of the stickers and things that you've seen me design in the past, um, you can grab those. And you can catch me on Twitter and Instagram and whatever else. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. It's awesome, and I appreciate it. And I will catch you later. Exit music, go. <laughs>